What is up, Film Geeks? My name is Trevor, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know I love physical media. I do Blu-ray hunts, Blu-ray hauls. I love it so much, and I have, I think, over 500 movies now. So today, I'm going to give you guys my entire Blu-ray collection. It's going to be a longer one. Get a snack. Hit that thumbs up button for me. Hit that subscribe button for me. It's going to be a long video, and I'm excited for all of it. So let's get into my entire Blu-ray collection. Alrighty, so here is the Blu-ray shelf right now. As you can see, it is almost full. Full. We got some PS4 games down there, which we will not include, and those are DVDs, not included. Ew, gotta get rid of them. First out here, we have our Steelbooks, and first seven Steelbooks, we have Dark Phoenix. I'm a big X-Men fan, and Dark Phoenix is not as bad as everyone says. Then we got Zombieland 2, Double Tap. I don't like the movie, but I really like that Steelbook. Really, really nice. And we have Justice League. Um, It's kind of a mess, but some reason I really, really do enjoy this movie. Steelbook, fire! Then we have Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I haven't seen every Tarantino movie, but this is definitely one of my favorites. Next up, we have Sleeping Beauty. Uh, my girlfriend wanted this one. It's a really nice steelbook, and uh, you know, it's a dang good Disney movie. Then we have Monsters, Inc., a top five Pixar movie for me. Then we have Dunkirk. Fun fact, my least favorite Nolan film. Then we have A Star is Born, uh, snubbed of so many Oscars, including Best Actor, Best Actress, Best Picture, my favorite movie of 2018. Then we have Hiring One Dalmatians. Just look at that vibrant red of that steelbook. Oh, it's gorgeous. And we have Baby Driver, the only Edgar Wright film I've seen, and I absolutely love it. Then we have War for Planet of the Apes. Um, I really like the steelbook. Not the biggest fan of this movie, but still a solid movie nonetheless. Then we have Avengers Endgame, one of the most uh, epic movies of all time. Then we have Friday the 13th. Um, kind of boring this one is. Sorry, not sorry. Then we have Gladiator. Are you not in the time? Then we have 300. Tonight we dine in hell. Whew, this is going to be a long video. Then we have It Chapter 2. Hi, Georgie. That wasn't that good. I apologize. Then we have Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, arguably my favorite movie of all time. Then we have Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, one of my favorite sequels of all time. Then we have The Fellowship of the Ring, one of my just general favorite movies of all time. You can tell I'm a big, big Lord of the Ring fan. And then just going on to Blu-rays, I have the Mission Impossible uh, 5 movie collection. It's still in its packaging. That's my bad. Then we have The Magnificent 7 on 4K. Still in its packaging. Had it for about two years. Haven't rewatched it since the theaters. A good movie, though. I enjoy it. Then we have How to Train Your Dragon uh, 3, How to Train Your Dragon 2, how to Train Your Dragon 1, which we're going to put right back there with them. Um, one of my favorite trilogies of all time. Absolutely love these movies. Then we have Reservoir Dogs. A pretty solid Quentin Tarantino movie. Not my favorite, but a really good take on after like the behind the scenes of a crime. Really, really do enjoy it. Knives Out. One of my favorite movies of 2019. There's a donut hole inside another donut's hole. God, it's so good. Then we have The Invisible Man, one of my favorite movies of last year. Then we have The Gentleman, my absolute favorite movie of last year. Then we have Ma, not even lying, one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. It's terrible. Then we have 127 Hours. Um, It's okay. I really, really loved it when I first saw it, but the more and more I watch it, it doesn't really have the rewatchability factor, but still saw it nonetheless. Then we have Toy Story 2 and Toy Story. Love the Toy Story movies with my whole heart. Replicas, haven't seen it. Gonna watch this bad boy this year. Then we have Star Wars time. Star Wars Rogue One. Solid movie, not gonna lie. Star Wars Avenger the Sith, arguably my favorite Star Wars movie. Oh my god, you were the chosen one! You're supposed to bring brothers to the force! Not leaving in darkness! I love it so much. I hate you! God, I love it. Rise of Skywalker, I bought it. It's still in its package. You haven't rewatched it since theaters, but hey whatever then we got the force awakens a dang good star wars movie then we have the last jedi um i enjoy last jedi don't love it but i enjoy it uh i got this because not because of that one but i love stomp the yard one of my guilty pleasure movies in my life then we have spider-man 2 and we have the bad boys 1 and 2 and it's cool little collection set then we have the farewell i actually haven't seen the farewell if i should watch it let me know then we have american may tom cruise is killer in this movie then we have robin hood um i've seen parts of this one still in his packaging whatever then we got tom cruise mission impossible fallout one of my favorite action movie of all time and my favorite uh mission impossible movie fantastic this means war a really funny buddy cop romantic comedy movie the girl with the dragon tattoo it's a hard one to get through but it's a dang good movie from martin scorsese then we have blood diamond um i I have not seen this one but i will watch it this year peanut butter falcon i absolutely love peanut butter falcon shia LaBeouf is fantastic gone girl um david fincher always does these things with like you know the back of his covers but um gone girl there it is the accountant gavin o'connor is my favorite director i love this movie then we have olympus has fallen i'm a big fan as it has fallen trilogy then we have jexy jexy is <laughs> it's pretty good i enjoy it guilty pleasure we bought a zoo great movie i am legend on 4k i am legend is awesome Central Intelligence, fantastic. Both things in our packaging. I need to watch them again. I love them so much. And we have a TV show, Legend of Korra. I actually have not seen Legend of Korra. I need to watch it. David Harbour's Hellboy, The Big Sick, Hereditary, and Jurassic World. You guys can see those all right there. That is our first row. 
Now coming down to the second row, we're here in the called I call it the superhero chamber. We have the Avengers Infinity War, arguably one of my favorite movies of all time. Then we have Captain America, the first Avenger. Um, I have not revisited this one in a long time, but still remember liking it a lot. Doctor Strange, I think it's a really underrated MCU movie. Spider-Man Homecoming, one of my favorite Spider-Man movies. Captain America, Winter Soldier, top five uh, MCU for me. Guardians of the Galaxy, top five MCU for me. Ant-Man and the Wasp is backwards. There it is. And Man of Wasp is fine. Um, a really nice slip cover, though. Then we have the Incredible Hulk. Easily low-tier MCU. Iron Man 3. I think it's a Christmas movie. Black Panther. Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. Fantastic movie. I really do enjoy Black Panther. Captain America Civil War. Uh, top five MCU movies for me, man. Iron Man, where it all started. Oh, God love you, Iron Man. Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse. I absolutely love Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse. It's fantastic. Shazam! Look at that cool little... Ooh, 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 ooh. Here we go. I'll just do it for you. There's Shazam. Okay, I'm not doing good. Sorry. Anyways, moving on. Aquaman is backwards. All my movies are backwards today. Flipping them around for you guys. Aquaman, pretty good. Man of Steel, arguably my favorite DCEU movie. Wonder Woman, dang good. Wonder Woman 1984, not that good. Batman v Superman, absolutely love it. The Ultimate Edition is fantastic. Logan, fantastic movie. And now um, that's it for the superhero movies. We have It on Steelbook. I absolutely love the Steelbook. Shutter Island, I have not seen. I haven't seen many Scorsese movies, but I will be watching all of them this year, hopefully. The Rocky Horror Picture Show, haven't watched it, but it's a really cool Steelbook. Then we have Clueless. I have not seen Clueless, but it's a really cool looking Steelbook. The Great Gatsby. Oh, don't you see, old school? Love it. Parasite, um, arguably one of the best movies of 2019. It is so freaking amazing. I love it with all my heart. Oh, my gosh. Doctor Sleep, fantastic movie for 2019. Both these, uh, this one's my top 10. This might be my number one, but um, this is my top 10. Great movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. The Drop. The Drop is actually really underrated. I love Tom Hardy. Good movie. Alice in Wonderland, really trippy. Not a big fan of that one. Rampage, this is a fun action movie. George! That's George. Pacific Rim, that's pretty dumb. Creed 2, a uh, great sequel. I like it more than other Creed movies. Fun fact, I have not seen any Rocky movie. Gotta change that one. Then we got Midway. I honestly don't know why I bought it. It was because it was super cheap on Black Friday last year, but I got it. Inception, my favorite Nolan movie. Joker, a fantastic movie. I actually have a huge Joker poster over there. And um, Joker is a fantastic movie. Joaquin Phoenix easily deserves the win. Then we have Whiplash. I mean, come on. Not my tempo. Not quite my tempo. I have another version of this we'll get to later. Good Will Hunting, one of my top 25 favorite movies of all time. It, again, I have a couple repeats in here. The Waterboy, H2O, Gatorade. Snatch, Guy Ritchie is one of my favorite directors, and I absolutely love Snatch. G.I. Joe, um, Retaliation, totally forgot what this one's called. I bought this one a long time ago. Detective Pikachu, really good movie, lots of fun. If you're a Pokemon fan, check it out. Alita Battle Angel, absolutely love it. Still in its packaging, but I really did enjoy this one. Oh! Lone Survivor. Lone Survivor is freaking awesome. Definitely gave away the whole name of the movie right there. Lone Survivor, picture Mark Wahlberg. He survives. But hey, really good movie. Really awesome. Really action-packed. Back to the Future Trilogy. I mean, I watched this for the first time last year and absolutely loved them. Scream. I only watched the first Scream last year. Easily made it my number one horror movie of all time. American History X. Have not seen this, but Edward Norton I heard is really good in it. Independence Day. Those are fun movies. A Time to Kill, have not seen this, but Matthew McConaughey is like, this is where a movie that blew him up. The Fugitive, have not seen, I know, I'm sorry. Brothers, this one's pretty crazy. Us. The Tether, the Tether are coming. The Dark Knight, easily one of Nolan's best movies, I absolutely love this movie. Batman is my favorite superhero of all time. The Dark Knight Rises, oh my god, it's glorious, I love it. Oh, I was, was trying to do a Bane impression, can't do it. The Equalizer 2. I love the Equalizer movies. They're lots of fun. Sherlock Holmes. Uh, fun fact, I have not seen the Sherlock Holmes movies. I'm going to watch them this year. Searching a fantastic movie from 2018. Hacksaw Ridge. Oh, hold out. Okay, that one dropped. Doesn't matter anyway. Hacksaw Ridge is fantastic. Then we got Sandy Kubrick's The Shining. Really like The Shining cover. Then we have The 18. 18 is pretty much fun. It has a lot of cool actors in it. Then we have The Hurt Locker, a great movie. Get Out. I mean, Jordan Peele's masterpiece. Can't wait for his next movie whenever it comes. And Kingsman. Have not seen the Kingsman movies, but you gotta change that as well. And the movie that dropped will be The Meg. Oh, yeah. All right. Going down to row number three. Cranking through a crawl. A fantastic movie. I absolutely love it with all my heart. Brother stuck in there. Brother Bear 1 and 2. Um, The first Brother Bear is great. I don't really remember the Brother Bear 2. Godzilla King of the Monsters. Don't even know why I own it. I do not enjoy it. Into the Ashes. Really small, low-budget film. Frank Grillo is one of my favorite actors, and um, he's pretty dang good in it. 
Godzilla. Um, these in King Godzilla King of the Monsters, they are in the MonsterVerse, which I'm a fan of. But this movie is a lot of fun for me. Um, slower burn, but I still enjoy it quite a bit. Hustler is one of my favorite movies from 2019, I believe. Really, really good. Then we have The Town. Ben Affleck is fantastic. Jeremy Renner puts in his career best performance. This movie is fantastic. It dropped. Green Book, I'm happy it won Best Picture. Fight me on it. Sounds of the Lambs, watch it for the first time last year. Go check that video out. It was a lot of fun to make. Woo! Ad Astra, have not seen it. Let me know if I should check it out. I probably will because I own it, but um, I love Brad Pitt. New Year's Eve, that's a fun one to watch. Um, 10 Things I Hate About You. Really great movie. One of my favorite coming-of-age movies of all time. Men in Black Trilogy. Uh, these are a lot of fun. A Few Good Men. Tom Cruise, best performance, hands down. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Dang right. The Goonies. What a fun adventure. I love The Goonies. Love Simon. One of my favorite movies from 2018. Then we have Glass. Um, I'm a big, pretty big fan of Split. Decent big fan of Glass. Not a big fan of Unbreakable. That's a hot take. Fight me. School of Rock. Oh, my God. The world is run by the man. The man. You know the man? He's everywhere. Down the hall, Miss Mullins. She's the man. VFW, haven't seen, but let me know if I should watch this soon. That'd be fun to do. Wedding Crashers. I absolutely love this movie. One of my favorite feel-good movies of all time. These two need to make more movies together. The Hangover, uh, one of my favorite comedies of all time. Paranormal Activity, six movie collection. I'm terrified of these movies. Maybe I'm a wimp, but these movies are scary to me. Long Shot, arguably my favorite romantic comedy of all time. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Have not seen these. Days and Confused, one of my favorite coming-of-age movies of all time. Watched it for the first time last year. Pirates of the Caribbean, a fantastic freaking movie. I love this franchise so much. Then we have Brave. Ha, put that back. The Incredibles, top five Pixar. Inside Out, one of my most overrated Pixar movies to me. All these are on 4K. Space Jam, how do you not love Space Jam? Mad Max Fury Road, have not seen Mad Max Fury Road. Fury, love Fury. Ford v Ferrari, one of my favorite movies from the year it came out. It's so good. Gemini Man. Gemini Man's fantastic. King Kong, one of my favorite Peter Jackson movies behind all the Lord of the Rings one. Of course, with King Kong is great. Patriots Day, Peter Berg and Mark Wahlberg yet again team up for this great movie. Warrior, one of my favorite movies of all time. La La Land, one of my favorite movies of all time. The Perks of Being a Wallflower, arguably my favorite movie of all time. Elysium, this is a fun, trippy kind of space movie. We Are Your Friends, one of my favorite movies of all time. I absolutely love this movie. Tag, Tag is fun. Tag is funny, I guess, but it's an overall good, inspiring movie. It's based on true story. Take a guess how many movies are still in their packaging. Split. We talked about it earlier, but I love Split. The Intruder. Have not seen. Woo! Criminal. Um, I have not seen this one either. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. I meant to get around to this one at the end of last year. Never did, but I really like this, uh, the cover. And I heard it's getting a sequel, so I definitely will be watching this one soon. The Batman 89. Have not seen it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sorry about that. Don't Breathe. Jaws, watched for the first time last year. Masterpiece. Dancing with Wolves, arguably my favorite Western of all time. World War Z. I always said this was made by David Fincher. It's not a great movie. Alice in Wonderland. Had this my first Blu-ray I ever owned. I love it so much. Hercules. This is a fun one. Moneyball. This movie is fantastic. Zero Dark Thirty. Pretty dang good. Instant Family is a ton of fun. Zombieland is a ton of fun. The Anchorman is really funny. That stupid comedy that I really do enjoy. The Favorite. Have not seen The Favorite, but I own it for some reason. And we have Booksmart. I think Booksmart's incredibly overrated. Then we have all four Bond movies. Skyfall, Spectre, Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace. Take a guess which one's my favorite. Taken. Taken's great. Predator Trilogy. I really do enjoy the Predator Trilogy. Cinderella running out of space here. And Juno. Alrighty. If you guys have made it this far in this video, comment down below. Hashtag... Halfway there, dog, D-A-W-G, D-A-W-G, comment that down below. The Internship, I absolutely love The Internship. Again, Vince Vaughn almost need to do more together. This is the end. Pretty funny, but pretty kind of annoying too. Kong, Skull Island, my favorite of the MonsterVerse movies. Big, haven't seen it, watching it for the first time this year. Black Klansman, haven't seen it, watching it for the first time this year. The First Purge, I enjoy it quite a bit. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, this is a fun, action-packed movie. A Simple Favor is one of my best favorite mysteries of all time. The Lincoln Lore is one of my favorite love movies of all time. Fifty Shades Darker, put that back. Charlie Wilson's War, um, Charlie Wilson's War has great acting, but a script that I was totally confused by. Bohemian Rhapsody, should not have won the Oscar, but still a good movie. Horrible Bosses, um, inappropriate edition. Tangled, my favorite Disney revival movie. I love Tangled My Whole Heart. Toy Story 4. I have Toy Story 3, but it's at my girlfriend's house, so it's not in this collection. Toy Story 4 is great. Five Feet Apart is a really good romantic movie. Whiplash, Steelbook, baby. Baby, look at that. Not quite my tempo. Birds of Prey, Steelbook. I absolutely love Birds of Prey, my favorite DCEU movie. The Invisible Man on Steelbook. I have a couple repeats in here, and The Invisible Man is one of them, so same with Whiplash. I love The Invisible Man. Braveheart. They'll never take our freedom! 
Psycho, haven't seen it. Sorry. I have 301 and 2. Blade Trilogy, haven't seen the Blade movies. Skyscraper, Rocky franchise. The Predator, Gold, Fighting with My Family. Going through all these because I don't have much to say because I haven't seen most of them. Fighting with My Family, really good movie, really surprising. Maleficent, I enjoy it quite a bit. This is how I went. Adam Sandler got snubbed. Interstellar, my second favorite Nolan film. Law Abiding Citizen. This one can go in the garbage. It's terrible. Ralph Breaks the Internet. Um, it's okay. I'm not the biggest fan. Chucky's franchise. Watching this is October for the first time. Thor Ragnarok. What? It, oh, well, we're just going to put that guy in front of everyone back in a superhero. That's a great movie. I like it a lot. Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, what's this? What's this? There's color everywhere. The Mummy movies. I enjoy the Mummy movies quite a bit. Hobbit, uh, The Battle of Five Armies. I love this movie with my whole heart. Shaft, haven't seen. Uh, Any Given Sunday, haven't seen. Meh, we're going to skip over Minions. Then we got um, another Sherlock Holmes movie, haven't seen. Still in this packaging, gotta watch. Jurassic Park. Top Gun is awesome. Look at that nice slip cover. Pulp Fiction, have not seen. Hateful Eight, Kill Bill, Kill Bill Volume 2. All these Tarantino movies I'm watching and making reaction videos for the first time in um, a couple weeks. I'm making videos for all four of these. I'm excited for all of them. Black Hawk Down, haven't seen. Invictus is fine. Yesterday, haven't seen. Slumdog Millionaire, haven't seen. Overlord, haven't seen. There's so many movies I haven't seen that I'm watching for the first time this year. Little Women, uh, arguably my favorite movie of 2019. Ocean's 8, a fun movie. Eighth Grade, um, haven't seen. Ha <laughs> ha. Conjury movies, I think Conjury movies are absolutely terrifying. They freak me the hell out. Remember the Titans? Oh my god, so good. Perfection! Great movie. Polar Express, I think it's really overrated. Then I'll show you guys these right here. We have First Man, which is pretty dang good. American Hustle, not a big fan of. John Wick 1 and 2 and 3, how do you not love them? And then, knock, knock. Huh. Throw that out. Avatar, Last Airbender, arguably the greatest TV show of all time. Row number four. We're whipping through it, folks. Then we got Spies in Disguise. I absolutely love Spies in Disguise. My favorite anime movie from 2019. Breakfast Club is great. I love The Steelbook. Grease, the um, only one I like is one with, obviously, John Travolta. Indiana Jones, my girlfriend has never seen these. We're watching them and making videos for them for the first time this year. Halloween, awesome Steelbook. I love it. Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse. My favorite anime movie of all time. I love this Steelbook. Crazy Rich Agents, it's in this packaging, but I have seen it many, many times. Angel Has Fallen, I love this movie. The Mummy, have not seen. Hunchback of Notre Dame is very dark, but it's pretty dang good. The Lighthouse, haven't seen. Blade Runner 2040, oh, ah! Blade Runner 2049, have not seen. Kingsman and Secret Service, have not seen. Haven't seen, haven't seen, haven't seen, haven't seen, haven't seen, haven't seen, haven't seen. Haven't seen. This is a haven't seen row. I know. Why do I own a movie if I haven't seen it? I have a disease, okay? I'm sorry. Then we have the Spider-Man. Um, all the movies on Spider-Man from Sam Raimi's collection and the Amazing Spider-Man. I like Spider-Man quite a bit. Haven't seen West Side Story. Sorry. And Glorious Bastards. I absolutely love. Haven't seen Goodfellas. Sorry. Wolf of Wall Street's great. Daisy Confused on Criterion. Absolutely love it. Terminator movies. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> That's a packaging in there, folks. I have not seen the Terminator movies. I know. I know. I own all of them, so I'm watching them and ranking them this year. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. I have not seen. Karate Kid, I haven't seen. Sorry, I know. Venom. Oh, my God. It's great. Batman's again is great. The Eagle is fine. To-do list is terrible. Uh, Saw. I love Saw. Uh, the first Saw. The rest of the Saws are not that good. Then we have uh, Twilight. Got it for $2 at a used Blu-ray store. Fault in Our Stars. Absolutely love. Jumper. Guilty pleasure of mine. I got it from used Blu-ray store and someone's dog ate it. I didn't realize until I got home. Gross. Secretariat. It's fine. Live, die, repeat. This is actually um, Edge of Tomorrow. Should be called Live, die, repeat. It's okay. Ready or Not is a great fun movie. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man. Oh, on Stranger Tides. Just kidding. Don't like Stranger Tides at all. Red, fun movie. The Walk, kind of boring. Pitch Perfect, absolutely love. Battle of LA, I love. The Heat, I love. Um, Invincible, great movie. I watched it for the first time last year. What a freaking movie. Alien, who haven't seen. Sorry, Cole Reviews. He's always yelling at me to watch it. Two Guns is fine. District 9 is really cool. Magic Mike's, honestly, no lie, Magic Mike is fire. Terminator Dark Fight, haven't seen. Justin Bieber, never say never. Godfather Trilogy, have never seen his movies. Reaction videos coming for all of them. I'm excited as hell for it. Oh, my God. Then we got Las Vegas. It fell. Las Vegas is a lot of fun. Bridesmaids is a lot of fun. The reason I can't go over because I have a, a shelf right here. Watchmen, haven't seen. Love Zack Snyder, though. Then we got Pirates 2 and...
Pirates 3. Love Pirates movies so much. Minus string. After the third one, it really went downhill. Starting this row, we have Game of Thrones individual seasons, and then we have Game of Thrones the complete series. I love Game of Thrones. Arguably my favorite TV show of all time. Steelbook, Inception. I love the Steelbook so much. It's the freaking uh, the hallway scene. God, it's awesome. Then we have Halloween, the 2018 one. Haunted Mansion, I absolutely love. Girl Next Door is one of my favorite uh, Guilty Pleasure movies of all time. 500 Days of Summer, have not seen, sorry. Hunger Games, Catching Fire is my favorite Hunger Games movie. Man on Fire is Denzel's most underrated performance. Nightcrawler, come on, Jake Gyllenhaal, come on. Turbo, God, it's terrible. The Way Back, one of my favorite movies of last year, top five. The Intern, lots of fun. Red 2, lots of fun. Grudge Match is, um, eh, Big Miracle, my girlfriend really likes. Frozen into the unknown. Uh, that's the wrong one. Sorry. Um, let it go. Sorry about that. <laughs> Bad Boys 1 and 2 again. God as a gift. Speed. Haven't seen Speed. Rocket Man. It's backwards. Rocket Man. Bright Burn, Pet Cemetery, Taxi Driver, American Psycho, Last Samurai. Have not seen these guys. Oh my God. You guys are going to kill me. I'm watching all these though this year. I'm watching every movie I own this year. Doing a big ranking at the end of the year. Ghostbusters. Haven't seen. Man from Uncle. Haven't seen. X Men Days of Future Past. Arguably my favorite superhero movie of all time. Corpse Bride, my girlfriend really wanted it. Wanted is fine. Then we got, what's this one? Oh, that one's, it's it's weird. Not gonna lie. Maid of Honor, my girlfriend loves him. She watches Grey's Anatomy. Ugh. Battle of the Year, I absolutely love this one. My favorite sport movies of all time. A great family movie, Parental Guidance. I love it. It fell. Patriot is super great. Fist Fight, haven't seen. Lord of the Rings 3 film collection. They have this cool little thing, but if you take it out, that thing falls out. Makes me mad. Step Brothers, probably my favorite comedy of all time. And we have Atlantis. Love these movies as a kid. Ready Player One is great. Shape of Water, haven't seen. Hobbit movies, and those two are DVDs that made it in here. Don't know why. Coming in to the last row on the ground here, we have Crazy Stupid Love. Um, one of the best plot twists of all time. I absolutely love this one. The Call, my girlfriend wanted it. White House Down is fine. It's really long. I'm not going to lie. It's two and a half hours of it's long. Remember me. Haven't seen Dinner for Schmucks. I absolutely love. The Longest Ride. I'm a sucker for romance movies, and that's a pretty good one. Four Christmases. Have not watched. Charlie St. Cloud is so good to me. Life as we know it. I enjoy life as we know it quite a bit. Wall Street. Uh, my girlfriend's dad loves this. I haven't seen it. Seven Pounds is really slow. Role Models is hilarious, dude. Going in style. I got this for a dollar at uh, Dollar Tree, obviously. Going in style is pretty... Actually, I haven't seen it. Ha! End of Watch. Um, David Ayer's best film. No doubt. Shawshank Redemption. Arguably one of the greatest movies of all time. Sh Suicide Squad. I think it's overhated. What? Come on. Come on. The Purge, Anarchy, I'm a big fan of Purge movies. 1917's great. How did the Grinch Stole Christmas is pretty dang good. Mean Girls, oh yeah. Lindsay Lohan, Mean Girls is hilarious. A Christmas Story, I um, haven't seen it. I was going to watch it, and then I didn't. These are all PS4 games, so don't mind those. And coming in over here, Irishman on Criterion. I never saw Irishman. Hobbs and Shaw is a lot of fun. Then we have Doolittle, haven't seen. Got Finding Nemo and Wally, just so I can start owning all the Disney Pixar movies, so... Yeah, not a big fan of Wally. -E. Finding Nemo's really good, though. Punch Drunk Love, haven't seen, but I'm watching for the first time this year. 12 Angry Men, watched for the first time this year. Titanic's the best romantic movie of all time. Seven Samurai on um, Criterion, haven't seen. Tenet on Steelbook, I'm not the biggest fan of Tenet. Love Actually, haven't seen. Die Hard, haven't seen. Coming in the Christmas movies because I put them back in here. Elf, favorite Christmas movie of all time. The Grinch, a lot of fun. The Grand Budapest Hotel, I actually haven't seen. Um, Beetlejuice, haven't seen. Peninsula, haven't seen. This is in the Avengers. This is a, technically a steelbook case for the Avengers video game. Pretty bummed out because I spent 20 bucks on it. Then I got the It's a Wonderful Life. Still haven't seen. And then also I got War of the Worlds. It's the 1950s one. That's going to be do it for my Blu-ray collection. Take a guess how many Blu-rays I have. We'll talk about it down below in the comments. And I'll let me know who made it to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love doing these. I love physical media. It's my favorite thing in the world. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.